Well, I'm on a new creek today, but there's not a lot of water in it. At least there isn't in this part of the creek. I think there's actually a diversion or two somewhere upstream. I know there's more water in this creek higher up, and so I'm just trying to figure out where the diversion is and, you know, where the water gets taken away. So I'm walking up this stream. Ooh, just saw a couple big fish in here. And that's the goal also of just walking along the stream for a bit is to see how many fish are in here, what the fish density is like. I don't know if you can see this, but there are a ton of fish in this pool right here. Probably a dozen fish right here. Some a pretty good size too. There's a 12 or 13 incher in there. But yeah, I've just been walking along to see how many fish are here. And uh, I've seen two small little like micro pools with fish in it downstream. I'm gonna keep going upstream, see if I can, again, get into some more water. And then we'll start fishing. Got some interesting flies to fish with today that I'll let you know about once I start to actually fish. Okay, sure enough, about 15 minutes later, I found the diversion. Basically, it's just diverting water into this right here, and then a little channel takes it out. And I think this is for agriculture. There are farms and whatever, a few miles down that way, out of the canyon. And that explains why there's so little water below here, why it's just a trickle, because a lot of the water is being diverted. And so the creek is better upstream of here. I guess I'll start fishing. I've probably spooked whatever fish were here, but I'll try to fish the top end of this, uh, this area, and then we'll continue going upstream. So I'm fishing today what I'm calling the Pumpkin Spice Kabari. I know you can't really see this, I'll put a better picture on the screen, but it is orange yarn body. It is Shetland Spindrift, Jemison's Shetland Spindrift pumpkin. And then it's green thread, there's a green head there. And then ginger hackle. Pumpkin spice kabari. It's fall, it's around Halloween, I figured why not let's fish a Halloween themed fly. I've never fished an orange fly before, I don't think. I'm pretty confident it'll catch fish. You know, I've caught lots of fish on pink and red flies, so I don't think orange should be that different, but I don't know for sure. Guess we'll find out. I'm fishing the Nissan Zero Sum today with a 12 foot level line. And of course I am the proprietor of flytyingyarn.com. If you'd like to buy some Jameson's Shetland Spindrift pumpkin yarn to tie your own version of this fly, I'll put a link to that in the description. First cast. I don't think it'll catch anything. That doesn't look especially fishy right there. I have fished this rod once before and I enjoyed it. And I figured it would be a good length for this stream too. 12 foot rod, 360 centimeter rod. I believe there are cutthroat in this creek. There might be the occasional brook trout, but I think it's predominantly cutthroat. Got one. Oh! That was a good fish, guys. I think I got him again. Yes! And that is indeed a cutthroat. Oh, check out my new net, by the way. This is a wood and titanium measure net that Jeff from Measure Net sent to me. And it says Tenkara Addict right on the handle here. So, appreciate that, Jeff. Thank you for this. It's a beautiful net. Let's take a look at this fish. Yep, that is a cutthroat. Loving the pumpkin spice, apparently. It's about a 10-incher. Very nice fish. Occasionally people will complain that uh, I don't put the fish in the sun, that my shadow is covering the fish. And I do that on purpose so that you can actually see the fish, because right now, like the the sun is going through the net, you can't see the fish very well because of the sh weird shadows on it. But when it's all in shadow, 
it's much easier to see the fish. All right, well, that's great. We got a fish on the board on the pumpkin spice kabari. Let's get some more. What a beautiful canyon this is. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Well, that sucked. Fished for two hours, caught one fish, and it was about five minutes in to fishing, so I haven't caught a fish in almost two hours. Not great, but I am undaunted. I'm gonna go to another creek, catch some more fish on the pumpkin spice kabari. Okay, we are at creek number two. There's a little bit of a hike to get here after driving to the, the new trailhead. Fishing the same rod, same line, same fly. Uh, again, I've never fished this creek before either, so this creek might also be a bust. Only one way to find out. And this is a brook trout stream. I know that because I found a PDF that was a fish survey of the creeks in this area. And this one is all brook trout. This is a beautiful creek, very clear, very rocky bottom. Okay, I've been fishing for a little while now, no luck. But this pool looks great. Haven't seen any fish, let alone hooked into one. Oh, hooked into one. Oh man, it's the first fish I've seen on this creek. There we go. Fish on. Come on. Okay. Finally. And it is indeed a brook trout. A fat little fish. Healthy brook trout. Got another one. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Catching fish. It's taken several hours, but we're catching fish. Another little brook trout. See if we can get a third fish out of here. Oh, we can! Okay. This is great. Oh, it feels good to catch fish. Three fish in five minutes. All right. Another fat little brook trout. Oh my gosh, another one from the same pool. Okay. I'm just going to keep fishing this pool until no more fish are biting. Oh! <laughs> Got one! These have all been brook trout. I think that's the smallest one yet. Another one! Fat brook trout. These are some of the fattest small brook trout I've ever seen. They're doing well in this stream. All right, that's seven fish I got out of this little pool. I'm gonna let it rest. I'm gonna leave them alone, keep going upstream. This is a beautiful pool right here. Nice, deep, clear water. 
I'll eat my rod if there's not a fish in here that I can land. Well, several casts in, I haven't hooked into any fish, which is odd. There we go. Took a while. Wow, good sized fish, biggest one yet. Nice fish, nice brook trout. Okay, finally. Oh, got one. I was about to walk away. But I had my fly still in the water. This goes to show you, keep your line in the water as much as you can, even when you're hiking around. Because you never know. Nice little fish. Got one. Oh, there he goes. Oh, fish on. Oh, there we go. It's been a while. I've had a bit of a dry spell. Nice fish. Well, that was fish number 12. Caught a dozen fish in this creek. Well, 11 in this creek, one in the, in the other creek, so a dozen total. Had a great time. Uh, it's been a little bit slow on this creek after, you know, having a, a good hot spell for a minute there, but it was nice to catch one more fish before I had to head out of here. The pumpkin spice kabari, it worked. I'm pretty happy with it. If you'd like to pick up some of that pumpkin yarn for yourself, I will put a link to that in the description uh, to flytyingyarn.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one.